G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today we are going to build snakes and ladders in Minecraft. And when you saw the title of this video, you probably thought, really? Snakes and ladders? That's not a very interesting game, and that's kind of what I thought when I first built this for my server. I, I said to the guys, I really don't know if this is going to be any good, but we played it, and it was actually... An amazing amount of fun. Uh, shoot someone. Revenge, Bobbit. Oh, no. no actually, <laughs> Danny's weak. <laughs> Flash potion of poison. <laughs> oh, I got myself as well. <laughs> Return to start. Oh. <laughs> you got that last time, Everyone's didn't you? Everyone's <laughs> favorite color. <laughs> oh, Bobbit. The walk of shame. So the rules for this are super simple. You go into the game with absolutely no armor or food. You just have a bow with unbreaking three and infinity on it and a few arrows. And all you do is you shoot the target over there. That will roll the dice for us and we'll see what we get Two. So we move forward two spots. When you land on a spot, you just press the button and you get something. So I got a chorus fruit. So we'll eat that and we'll see if it's a snake or a ladder. That one was a ladder. So I'm now on the red and it's the next person's turn. And you don't just get chorus fruit in this game. You get offensive weapons like splash potions and stuff. You can get golden apples. Here I've got a snowball that is titled Join the Leader. So if we're playing in a bunch of with a bunch of people here and someone was up there, I'd be able to go and join them. I just threw my snowball away. I'm in creative now, so I've still got it. But in survival, you'd lose your snowball. And yeah, that is the way you play. So you can see we've got a little bit of redstone out the back here for our dice. And it's covered in carpet, so we don't teleport over there when we're eating our chorus fruit. But underneath, guys, this is super easy to build. We've just got our droppers full of different things in there. I originally designed this with a refilling system, but I found it was actually so slow. It's actually quicker just to run down below here and put in all the goodies you need. And you don't even need to fill up the droppers completely. So here's some of the stuff that I found works really good in the game. So we've got splash potions. So you want items that you have to use that turn. So you wouldn't put a steak in there because if you're not hungry, you can't eat it and then it's stuck in your inventory. So you want all items that you can use that turn and then you don't have them anymore. So we've got splash potions here. Instant damage 2 is a good one. Poison is excellent. That makes the game really dangerous because you might get a snowball that says shoot someone right after they've been poisoned. And if you die, you have to go all the way back to the start. So we died many times playing this game. We've got regeneration, instant health, Golden apples are a good one to get. I, in this game here, I put all the golden apples on the yellow squares. So if you land on one of them, you know you've got a good chance. And you can also throw in an ender pearl. So I've put an ender pearl in this square and this square. So you've got a chance to throw it and win the game, but you might throw it all the way off and end up in the water and have to restart. And then I've got different things that you can name the snowball. So move diagonally one square. Roll again, shoot someone, switch places with the leader, advance to the next red, shoot everyone on yellow, you could do that for any colour, join the leader, shoot everyone, and press the button three times. They're just a few examples you can make up your own and do all kinds of crazy things in this game. And because we're using Chorus Fruit, you do need to build this game out in the ocean, so I'm going to include a nether portal with the design so you can come straight out here. But you don't have to go really far out into the ocean. As you can see here, I'm only about 30 or 40 blocks out from the bank here. It's not too far. And I'm absolutely fine out here. I can eat my chorus fruit. And uh, yeah, we always stay on our platform. So we'll get started with the tutorial. But the first thing you want to do before you even build this is make sure you have a chorus fruit farm. You do need a lot of chorus fruit in this game. So you want to fill each of these droppers with at least two stacks of chorus fruit. Three is pretty good as well, but uh, yeah, it's up to you. So yeah, build a huge chorus fruit farm before you even start building this. Okay, we're going to begin by building a square platform, and I'm just building this at the same level as the water, and I'm using stone bricks, but you can use whatever material you like. 
and the dimensions are 19 by 19 and you can just put some light blocks in there as well doesn't matter where or how many just do it however you like and like always there's a materials list in the video description and once you've done that i want you to cover the entire thing with carpet and this will stop us from uh, teleporting down to this level when we eat our chorus fruit so decide where you want your redstone dice display to be i want my display to be up the back there so we're going to call this the front so come along to the front right hand corner and we're going to go one two three four stone bricks just like that with four ladders on the front and then grab some dirt blocks or any random block that you can break really easily because we're going to get rid of them. Starting right behind there, we're going to put a dirt and we're just going to put one every second block in a big grid pattern like this. So you can see what I'm doing there. Just do that over the entire carpeted area. So you should be looking like that when you're done. So now we're going to break two of these dirt blocks. We're going to break the one directly behind this stone pillar. And then if we strafe over to the left, we're going to break that one in that corner. So that's the start and finish line. And we don't need droppers there, but for every other dirt block, we're going to place a dropper facing straight up right on top of it. Just like that, guys. Now come over to your ladder. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to that corner up the end here. So we'll come all the way to the end, turn around, face our ladder again. And we're going to place a dirt block against the side of that dropper there. And we're going to place nine in total. So we've done one already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll place a stone brick just on the side of that. Now I want you to go ahead and break every single dirt block. Okay, now we can come over to where our ladder is. And you can use any light block here, but I think sea lanterns look the nicest. Although when you're up on top of the game, you, you won't even know what block you're using. So we're going to put a sea lantern there with an extra ladder on the end. And just off to this side, we're going to put two more. And then we're going to turn the corner and we're actually going to make a great big square of sea lanterns. And this square will be 22 blocks long on all four sides. And once you've done that, guys, you can just cover up all our sea lanterns with cyan carpet. Okay, now we're going to build all of this. And what I'll do is I'll just go up above and give you an aerial view and you can copy it. So just remember this starting point right here. It's the yellow square with the arrow and no button on it. That one's right next to the ladder. And the ending point is over here. And it's just a red square with no, with no button on it. And there are only five colors here, so yellow, white, red, blue, and green. Just make sure when you're building this, you get all the arrows pointing in the correct direction, because that's going to tell you where to move on the board. So let's go up above. And I didn't mention all the colored blocks are made from concrete. So go ahead and pause the video, copy all of this in. The ladder is just down here at the bottom of the screen. Okay, now we're going to get to work on our redstone dice. So come up to the back here where we've got this block floating in the air. And not on the first sea lantern, but on the second one, we're going to place a block there. And then another. And we're going to come out six blocks in total. So we've already done one. It's two, three, four, five, six. And the same right beside it. Then we'll go two sea lanterns. Two obsidian, that's if you're putting in a nether portal, otherwise just put uh, put stone bricks there. And two stone bricks, and then what we're going to do is on this side, we're going to skip the first two bricks, and then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll do the exact same thing on this side. Okay, looking from this side, right here and right here, we're going to come out ten blocks. So we've already placed the one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do the same over here. And once you've placed your ten in, we're just going to place one, two, three, four, five to connect them. Okay, staying with our stone bricks over near the obsidian, we're just going to put a line of bricks all the way down. On the next line, level with our sea lanterns, we're going to do it different. We're going to start with a block, then we're going to leave that block there sort of exposed, then a sea lantern four stone bricks, another sea lantern, and a stone brick, and then just use stone bricks to fill up the rest. 
Okay, come over to our little bridge over here and we're going to skip that first stone brick but on the next one and the one beside it we're going to build up five blocks. We've done one already, two, three, four, five. Now over on the end we're going to come out three blocks, one, two, three, and then do the same thing on the end. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll just connect them at the top. And that's going to be our display panel. So we'll start with a line of stone bricks down the bottom. Then on the left hand side we'll do our four target blocks. A stone brick and six redstone lamps. And then just fill up the rest with stone bricks. So you should be looking like that. And then all you need to do is just number our redstone lights here and you can do a quick Google search to find out how to make numbered banners. So now we're going to come around to the back here and just look in the same direction I'm looking now. So we've got our obsidian just to the left. In this hole we are going to place a bit of redstone dust and then just hold shift and place a stone brick on top and diagonally up to the left we're going to break out that block. So just turn around, look at it from the opposite direction. We'll place a redstone torch right there with a block on top, another torch on this side and one more on the opposite side. Alright now we're going to put our back to our display wall just like this and right here we're going to place a comparator. And just behind the comparator we're going to place four droppers facing straight up. So just hold shift, go two, three, four, just like that. And then the last one I want you to place on its side facing off toward our target blocks. Now just down the bottom below our face we're going to place a hopper leading into that bottom dropper. And then six stone bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the second last one, we'll place a regular rail. On all the others, we're going to place powered rail and just hold shift to place one on top of our hopper. Then grab some stone bricks and just behind this sea lantern, we're going to place a line of six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, finishing behind the other sea lantern. And then starting against this redstone lamp, we're going to place seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh one just goes right here. And we'll place some carpet on top of there. And we're just going to place a bunch of carpet now to stop us from teleporting out here. So just below our target blocks, we're going to place a line all the way down. And we'll come up here and we'll run these all the way over to our comparator. No need to put them between the sea lanterns. And whoops, not there. We'll run them all the way along here and finish there and we'll also put two there. And then just behind our droppers here what we're going to do is place a block right there and a bit of carpet and that's just a step for us to get up when we're doing our redstone. And now we're going to start on the redstone where this line of six blocks is and we're just going to build some item sorters. So place a temporary block with a block on either side, break the temporary one and just run these down so we've got two lines of six blocks. Now facing toward our rails on the middle block here down below we're going to place redstone repeaters and then just pointing over toward our rails we are going to put redstone torches. Now grab your blocks again and we're going to place a line of blocks on top of these ones and we'll put another line of six blocks on either side of those. So the second one goes above our torches. Now looking in the same direction I am now, we are going to place comparators all the way along there. And then on top of everything else, we're just going to spam redstone dust. Okay, so once that's all done, come along to here and we're going to place six comparators on these blocks. And then you can stand on the blocks and with hoppers, we're just going to run them into those blocks there. So six hoppers. And then what we're going to do is hold shift and run the next hoppers into the comparator. So make sure your hopper is not facing straight down. It needs to be facing sideways. And then where we've got the last one, you can point that straight down into that hopper. And then all the others are going to run sideways into that one. Okay, come down to where our target blocks are and on this last bit of rail we're going to place a hopper minecart and then grab observer blocks, place two facing into the bottom target blocks. Now on the one on the right here we're going to place a sticky piston 
and then looking down we're going to place an observer block on the end of that then grab some stone bricks we'll go one two three right here and then starting on the piston one two three right there now come over to our target blocks look in this direction two repeaters like so then turn around and one repeater here and this one will be on a four tick delay and we'll just put dust either side of that Okay, now we can swing around to this side where our dropper tower is. And on top of this torch on the right hand side, we're going to place a block and that'll have a torch right there. So this torch will have a block on it and then we'll put a torch on either side of that block. Now on the right hand side torch, another block with a torch there that'll have a block on it and another torch. So you may want to just pause the video here and copy that. And that's the redstone all done, so let's just build our nether portal. So I'm going to put four more obsidian on each side, two across the top, and then just behind this, all I'm going to do is build up a big wall of stone bricks. Now, in front of the portal, we're going to put a bunch of chests. So I'll put three, whoops, we'll have to hold shift here, three right there, and three there. That's just for your players to take off all their armor and stuff like that. And we'll put an item frame on that one with a bow, and that's where we can keep the bows that we're going to use for the game. Just next to that, I'm going to put a cyan bed for people to set their spawn, because this is a deadly game. And we'll put an ender chest right there. And now we just need to place down a bunch of carpet, otherwise we'll be teleporting to all kinds of crazy places around here. So I think you can teleport onto rails, so just against that bit of carpet there I'm going to place another one so when the minecart leaves we're not accidentally teleporting in there. Above all of this I'm just going to put carpet over everything because it's going to look a little bit neater. I don't think you can teleport to repeaters. Over here we'll put it above the dust but you are quite safe, you can't teleport to the comparators. So just above all of that we'll have layers of carpet. We'll put them on top of the hoppers and the dropper all the way across here as well. The top two blocks of that torch tower will need it as well. And then we'll need carpet there. And we'll also need carpet all along these blocks here and over our little bridge. So that should stop you teleporting anywhere. Although be advised if you're accidentally just standing on the carpet here when you eat your chorus fruit. If you're standing on carpet, you can teleport to carpet, so make sure you're never standing on it when you eat your fruit. Okay, now we're going to program our item sorters. So come up to this carpet here, look at the hopper that's pointing into that comparator, and what we're going to do is just grab any old weird item, so I'm using wheat seeds here, and just put one in each of the last four slots. And once you do, you can see your comparator will light up, so I've done that in each of those and then we need six different items, and I'm using saplings, and you need 42 of them in total. So what we're going to do is in the first slot here, we're going to put 41, and we're just going to hold on to the last one. So do that for each of these hoppers. And then we're left with our six items. So what we're going to do is look over to this top dropper right here. We're going to put five of them in there, but the very last one, and it doesn't matter which one it is, the very last one we're going to put into our hopper minecart. And then you can just give this a test to see if it's working so you can shoot your target. And it takes a moment, but uh, there we go, it's working just fine. And if you shoot again, that one should disappear and we'll get another number. And that's it guys, that is how to build snakes and ladders. I know it doesn't seem like much at the moment, but once you start playing, you are going to have an awesome time. But the building was the easy bit. Now the uh, the the arduous task starts. You got to load this up with the chorus fruit. So chorus fruit is the main thing you'll need, and then all those other things are just little added bonuses to make the game interesting. So if you play it and you have fun with it, leave some comments if you if you design new snowballs with new instructions on it that are lots of fun. Let me know what they are because I want to add them to my own game. So thanks for watching guys. I'm Cortez Arena and I'll see you later.